welcome back to our Disney channel. Today we are going to be doing another um, Disney tutorial and today we are making this super adorable slinky dog from the movie Toy Story. So today you're going to need the supplies that are listed on the supply sheet under the Google Classroom. Um, and to get started we're actually going to make the strips that are required to make these paper chains that the slinky's body is made out of. So to start, you're gonna want to print out the templates that we provided online. Um, and you can either just print on plain white paper like this, or if you have colored paper available, you can always print on colored paper as well. This just kind of takes out one step. Um, with this, you'll just have to color in the strips brown. Um, so if I were to do this step, I would just take a brown crayon marker, paint if you want, and I would just color in these strips. Um, for the video though, I am going to use um, the brown strips, which I've already cut out here. Um, I just cut out one sheet to create the Slinky's body. Um, if you wanna print out more sheets to make your Slinky dog longer, you can. Um, I'm just gonna do one sheet of paper though for mine for this example. Um, so that's the first thing we're gonna start with. Um, the second piece of, um, the second material you're gonna need to create your slinky dog is either a stapler or a glue stick. Um, either one works. Um, for the video, I'm gonna use a stapler just because I don't have, then I don't have to wait for the glue to dry, but either works great. Um, so to start, we're gonna start by making Slinky's body here. Um, so as you can kind of see, his body is like loops of um, paper and they're just kind of connected together to make his body. Um, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do that. Um, so I'm, after you're done cutting your strips, I'm gonna take each strip and I'm going to make it into a loop. Um, so when I make it into a loop, I'm kind of overlapping them by a little bit. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, but once you loop it around like this, I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna just put a, one staple to hold it together. So now this is a, a loop all together. And then the next step is you're gonna take another sheet of paper and you're gonna loop it through the one that you already have. And you're gonna do the exact same thing at the top where you're gonna overlap the paper. And then you're gonna take a stapler and you're gonna just staple to the top again. And so you're gonna kind of just repeat the process over and over again until you get your desired length of your slinky dog. Um, this is kind of a fun part. I, when I was little, I used to make paper chains for my Christmas tree that used to be like Christmas color during Halloween. I know here at the center, we've done Halloween um, paper chains. And so this is just kind of a fun um, twist on it to make it like a Disney version. Um, so I'm almost done here, just connecting all these pieces together. So as you can see, I've got a strip here, which is a pretty good length for a slinky body. Um, the next part of our slinky dog is we are gonna create his head. So I'm just gonna set my paper chain to the side because I don't need that right now. Um, the second part is gonna be to take our second template that we sent to you guys with the ears and the nose and the face. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to cut these pieces out and we're going to um, color them. Um, so try to cut on the lines as best as you can. Um, and again, if you have colored paper that you want to print this on so that they're already colored, you can. Um, for this portion, I'm actually gonna use the white ones and I'm gonna color them my own colors. Um, just because in our example, um, it shows that the nose is a little bit of a lighter color um, than the rest of the body and his ears are actually a little bit darker than the brown that we used here. Um, and again, you can use whatever supplies you have around your house. So um, if you don't have the exact colors, that's okay. This is your project. You can make it however you'd like. Um, if you want to make a green dog, you can make a green dog. It's totally up to you. That's what's kind of fun about art is that you can make it your own. Once we get done cutting out all of these pieces, we are going to be gluing them onto our slinky body. OK, 
Okay, and the last one I'm gonna cut out here is just his nose. What's kind of fun too is while you're doing these crafts, if they are themed to a movie, and if you have the movie at home, it might be kind of fun to watch the movie while you're doing these crafts and you can maybe get a little bit more inspiration. Um, and it's kind of a good excuse to watch an older Disney movie. Okay, so I've cut out all of my pieces. So I'm just gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna recycle that later. Um, so as you guys can see, I've got two ears here that I'm gonna eventually attach to my slinky body. I've got his, his long nose and I have his face. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna start with coloring in my, um, the different pieces of the face. So I'm just gonna grab um, some, I have some crayons here. These are actually jumbo crayons, which are really nice because they don't break. Um, but I'm just gonna look through here and we have a brown, actually I set it to the side earlier. So I'm just gonna color in the ears really quickly. Um, you guys take your time though. This is, you, you can make this craft as many times as you want. It may be kind of cool if you wanna create this craft and then give it to somebody as a gift. Or like I said, if you wanna create the dog but make it really long, you could make it like a challenge to see how long you could make it. Um, I'd love to see if you guys do create this project, if you guys wanna post a picture of you guys with it or just of your project, I'd love to see the variations and how you guys create these. Um, they're meant to just be fun and kind of keep you guys busy while we're at home. Um, I know I'm having a lot of fun being able to create these videos for you guys. Okay, so I've got the ears colored in here. So I'm just gonna set those to the side. They're both the same color, I used the same crayon for them. Um, and then for the face, if we look at our example, um, the face or, yeah, the face here is kind of the same color as our, um, our body here. Um, I'm just gonna use, since it's white right now, um, I'm just gonna color it in a very light shade with this. So I'm just gonna color it really lightly just to give it a little bit of color. Um, but I'm wanting it to be a little bit lighter than what the ears were. Just kind of add some contrast and makes it so that it kind of stands out a little bit more. Okay, so I've got my face colored a really light brown. I think you guys can hopefully see that there. Um, and then the last part is his nose. So if we look at the example here, his nose is actually kind of a white color. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, and then the next part, so we're kind of, right now, we're kind of just creating all the pieces and then at the very end, we're gonna assemble it all. Um, so next, if I'm looking at Slinky, um, I see that he has a tail here that we need to create which is super cool. So um, again, you can use, we're gonna be using this strip pattern. Um, you can use a white strip and color it in brown. Um, or if you want to, again, print it on um, colored paper or whatever color dog you're making. Like I said, it doesn't have to be brown. Um, I'm just gonna use a strip that's already colored just for this video. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut one strip and this is gonna be for his tail. So once I have a strip ready to go for his tail, um, if you guys look at the example again, it's kind of it's kind of crinkly. It kind of almost looks like um, like if you've ever made a paper fan, how you have to fold it back and forth. Um, that's kind of the, the idea and kind of how we're going to be making this. So for that, I'm going to just take a regular strip that's straight, um, and I'm just going to kind of start to fold it back and forth. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to fold it once this way, so that it kind of looks like this. I'm gonna hold it over here so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna fold it the opposite way, like this. So now it's kind of starting to do this accordion type um, shape here. And then I'm gonna fold it backwards. And I'm gonna fold it again. So if I let go of it, it's kind of, it's kind of bouncy, kind of like a spring. And I'm gonna just keep going until I get to the very bottom. So I'm kind of folding it, increasing it, folding it, increasing it, folding it, increasing it. And then when I let go, it looks like this. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull it out a little bit so that it's not super, super boingy. I kind of want it a little bit longer. Um, and that's gonna be his tail. Um, so I'm just gonna set that to the side. Um, looking at our dog, it looks like we need a few little feet. Um, so again, you can use your white paper. Um, there may even be some leftover white paper from your template that you can use. Um, since I have brown paper available, I am gonna just use 
brown paper. Um, and basically all you're doing is you're just cutting a little tiny strip. So a skinny strip essentially. And it's gonna just kind of look like this. So it's pretty small. I don't have a template for this, but it's it, you can kind of make it however shape you want. I'm just cutting a little rectangle. Um, and I'm gonna make four of those. Um, so I'm gonna just cut up on my paper a little bit and then cut across. And that's gonna be my foot. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut up and then I'm gonna cut up and across. And I have four there. So I have my four little strips here that are gonna be like my feet um, that I will attach at the end. So I'm just gonna set those aside with my other materials. Um, the very last thing I see on here, it looks like we have a couple pieces of um, black paper, um, which kind of tips the end of his tail. And it also kind of um, makes his nose a little bit more defined in the picture. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I actually have black paper available, so I'm gonna use black paper, but you could always use like a black Sharpie and just draw on a little nose and you could even do like a white piece of paper and color it in black. Um, but I'm just gonna use um, black paper since I have that on hand. Um, so for his nose piece, I'm just gonna cut a little circle. Um, I'm just gonna freehand it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but if you have something that um, you want to trace that's circular, totally go for it. Um, so I just have a little, kind of hard to see, but I have a little circle there that's going to go right on his nose. Um, and then I'm just going to cut basically just like a little oval that's going to go at the very end of his tail down here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of freehand that as well. So just like an oval shape. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, kind of whatever shape you want to make it, but I kind of just made mine like this um, and then I'll eventually attach it on to the bottom of his tail. Like this. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. Um, the last thing I see on the dog that we need is his eyes. Um, so you can either use, if you have um, googly eyes available, um, we have a few here at the center that luckily I'm able to use. Um, these cool little pre-made eyes um, but if you don't have those that's okay you can use paper and create your own eyes or you can even just use a marker um, for this I may just use a crayon just to show you guys that it works just as well um, so what I'm gonna do is next I'm gonna start to assemble everything um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose which end I want to be the head and which end I want to be like his tail um, so I'm just gonna use this as his head. Um, both sides are the same, but you just have to choose one. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, um, I may use my stapler actually to attach the head, um, just to kind of keep it uniform. Um, but you could use your glue as well, it'll work just as well. You may just have to hold it while it dries. Um, so I'm gonna take the head shape, which I colored that light brown color, and I'm gonna just lay it right on top of um, one of the loops that's at the very top. So that's another good point is that we, we don't want to attach the head to the middle Because it will look like this. We want it to be at the very top like this And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just add a staple To my head to attach it to the loop And if you have somebody at home that can help you with the stapler if you're using a stapler um, totally ask for help um, here we go. So I've got the head attached and then next I'm going to attach his ears. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to kind of just lay down the ears as placement. Um, just as a reminder, this is what he looks like. So I just attached his head and now I'm kind of layering on the ears and the nose and then I'll add the eyes very last. Um, so I'm going to kind of, I can kind of choose how I want my dog's ears to be. If I want them to be down, if I want them to be perked up, totally up to you. You choose. Um, but then I'm just going to add another staple in there to hold that on there. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side. So I'm just going to attach that other ear with the stapler. Okay, so now I've got my ears on here. Kind of fun. Um, and then next I'm going to attach his nose. Um, so his nose kind of hangs down a little bit further. So it kind of dangles down a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to use my stapler and attach this the same as I did the ears. Um, and then lastly, 
um, I'm going to use this little black dot, which kind of shows at the very bottom of that, um, that nose shape. And I'm just going to put a little staple in there just to hold that in place as well. Okay. So I have his face kind of all put together. The last thing will be to attach his eyes um, to the head portion, but I'm gonna come back to that because I'm gonna need to use glue for that one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach his um, tail next. So I'm gonna go to the very last chain, um, which is at the very bottom here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just um, grab my tail, so this accordion piece, and I'm going to kind of adjust it how I think it looks best. So. Um, I'll probably do something like this um, and then just staple it on to hold it in place. Something kind of like that. And you can always kind of refold it to make it more kinked if you want it more like that or if you want it more flat, you can do that too. Um, so we kind of have his tail here. So when he's sideways and kind of looking like this, you can see him like this. Um, and then next I'm going to attach that little black piece. Um, that was at the very bottom of his tail. Um, so again, I'm just going to use a stapler, staple that on there. And so now we have his tail done. Um, so the very last part that we're going to do to make his body um, are his legs. So we've got these four pieces here. Um, if we look at the picture, they're kind of hard to see, but they're like these little um, pieces that are coming down right here. Um, these pieces are going to be his legs. Um, so we're gonna kind of need to um, spread them out a little bit. Um, so from the example, it shows that it's the third chain in, we're adding the feet. Um, so attaching the feet, I'm gonna basically just staple them on like I did with everything else. Um, I'm gonna just put them on the inside and then I'm gonna add a staple. And then what I'm gonna do for kind of like a final touch is I'm gonna just fold the very tip of it so that it looks kind of like a little foot. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but it's like a little foot. Um, so I'm gonna attach two to the same chain um, since his feet are next to each other in real life. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just attach another one um, right on the opposite side of that chain. And I'm gonna staple it to keep it in place. And then just add that little tiny crease to make his little foot. So those are his feet for the, the his front feet. And now we're gonna move to the back. Um, and I'm gonna do it on, so not the chain that has his tail, but the next one in. I'm gonna add his second set of feet to this chain here. So I'm gonna take one of these strips, put it on the bottom, and I'm going to just staple it on there. And then I'm going to add that little crease for his foot. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the very last foot on the opposite side of um, the paper chain. So one foot is here and I'm going to add the other one over here. Just secure it with our stapler. Okay, so now I've got his feet on there. I've got his face and the very last thing we're missing is his eyes. Um, so like I said, you can use googly eyes if you have googly eyes. If you want to draw on the eyes, that's great too. If you want to make fancy eyes with paper, the sky's the limit. Do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna, just to show you guys that it works without having anything fancy, I'm just gonna use a crayon. Um, but you could use marker, whatever you have, you can totally use. So I'm just gonna, um, if you look at the example here, they're basically just two black dots. So it's super simple. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just draw two circles here for his eyes. And here is our final Slinky Dog product. Super cute and it's pretty easy to do. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, thank you for joining and I look forward to another Disney video coming soon. Bye guys.